Hello and welcome to today's English language lesson. Today we're going to continue talking about imagery and specifically similes and metaphors. But just as a quick recap, can you tell me what is imagery? Yes, that's correct. Imagery is visually descriptive language. So it's language that helps us to keep a picture in our mind of what the writer is trying to describe. So today we're going to consider some specific techniques involving in imagery. Those are similes and metaphors. So first of all, we'll look at similes. So what's a simile? Well, a simile is when something is described by comparing it to something else using the words like or as. So let's see that in practice. Here are some examples. So the first example we have here, the puppy was as soft as a cloud. So can you imagine that puppy? It's so soft, it's like a cloud, probably big and fluffy. So that's an example of a simile because you're talking about the puppy and you're comparing it to a cloud using the word as. And the next example we have here, the ballerina danced as gracefully as a swan. So what's being described here? That's correct. It's the ballerina. And what is the ballerina being compared to? Yes, she's being compared to a swan. And you can imagine this ballerina dancing around, so graceful, just like an elegant swan. And the third example we hear, her eyes shined like the sun. So we've got our sun here, it's big and bright and shiny. Um, so you can imagine someone with big sparkly eyes and they're just like the sun. So here we have a picture of this person in our head and their sparkly eyes and we think of them by comparing them to the sun using the word like. So that is a simile. Now something that's very similar to a simile is a metaphor. Now metaphors also describe something by comparing it to something else. But the main difference between a simile and a metaphor is that with a metaphor, you are describing something as if it were something else. So there's no use of the what those two key words, as or like, you're simply saying that something is something else. I know that probably sounds a little bit confusing. Let's look at some examples and hopefully it will become much clearer. So the first example here is Lucy is a star. So who are we talking about here? Yeah, we're talking about Lucy. And what we're saying, what are we saying? We're saying Lucy is a star. So what does that mean? What do you think? Does it mean that Lucy is just floating around somewhere in space? Is it saying she's literally a star? No, definitely not. It's saying that Lucy, maybe she's very bright, she might be very smart, she stands out, she shines. Lucy is a star. So here we are describing something as if it were something else without the use of as or like, which would mean, mean that it's a simile. We've got another example here. The snow is a blanket. So what's being described here? Yeah, it's the snow. And what are we comparing it to? A blanket, we're saying it is a blanket. So what picture do we have in our mind? Can you tell me? Yeah, we can see that the snow is covering everything. You can't see through it, it's just like a blanket. So you just see this blanket of snow, all white everywhere. And we can see the, snow, the snowman here is enjoying the blanket of snow all around him. And the last one, the goalkeeper was a machine. So here, who are we describing? It's the goalkeeper. And what are we comparing him to? A machine. So what does that mean? What do you think? Yes, so the a machine, it's very accurate, does things exactly in the right way. And it does them very, very fast. So we're probably saying here that the goalkeeper is very good at his job. He's not letting any goals in he is a machine so that is a metaphor now to 
see if we really, we really understand the difference. I've got some examples here of similes and metaphors, and we're going to match them up to uh, the correct definition. Um, so the first example, her eyes shine bright like a diamond. Is that a simile or a metaphor? Yes, that's correct. We can see that we have this key word here, like, which means that this is a simile. And the second one, the clouds were cotton wool in the sky. Is that a simile or a metaphor? Yes, that's correct. It's a metaphor because it's saying they were cotton wool, not that they were like cotton wool or that they were as cotton wool, they were. The next example, she was pretty as a picture. Is that a simile or a metaphor? That's correct. We have our keyword here, as a picture, as, which makes it a simile. And the next example, I slept like a baby. She had such a good sleep. Is that a simile or a metaphor? That's right. It has the word like, so that means that it is a simile. The next example we have, Ben is an angel. So Ben's a very, very good guy. Um, so is this a simile or a metaphor? That's correct. It's a metaphor. It's saying he is an angel, not that he's like one. So that makes it a metaphor. And the last example here, got them all right so far. So life is a roller coaster. Is that a simile or a metaphor? Correct, absolutely. It's a metaphor. Life is a roller coaster. That was very well done. Um, so now we know the difference between similes and metaphors. I think we should probably see them in action. So for similes and metaphors uh, can be found in all different types of texts, but they're often found in poetry. So we've got a poem here. Um, we, can, we can read it through together. Uh, so if you read the first verse for me. Thank you. And I'll read the second one. He will suddenly stop in a cunning nook and rings a sharp lorem. But if you should look, there's nothing to see but a cushion of snow, round as a pillow and whiter than milk, and softer than if it were covered with silk. And if you go ahead and read the last verse for me. Thank you. So, this poem contains some metaphors and some similes. Can you help me uh, point them out? Can we first of all find maybe a simile? So, where can we see a simile in this poem? That's right, there's one right here, round as a pillow. So, we've got the word as here, and that makes it um, a a simile. Can we spot some kind of metaphor in this poem? Let's have a little look. Can you see one? Aha, there it is. A cushion of snow. Did you remember we spoke about the blanket before? Well, this is a cushion of snow. So what's, what's the writer um, trying to make us think of now? So the snow, it's not only covering everything, but maybe it's soft, it's comfortable, it's a cushion of snow. Excellent. Well, we're going to come back to this poem um, in later lessons and pick out some more techniques because it's full of imagery. So very well done today. I'm so impressed at how well you were able to identify both the meanings of similes and metaphors, but also how we can use them in poetry to create images in our readers' minds. So this week, it's really important that we keep practicing the skills that we've learned. So I'd like you to write me a short poem about winter. We're at the end of November now, so we're starting to get a little bit wintry. So if you can write me a little poem about winter, and it should contain at least one simile and one metaphor. If you want to write some more, then that's even better, but at least one simile and one metaphor, and I can't wait to read uh, your poem next week.